Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of a Superformance Cobra and this baby's got a Rouse 402. Rouse says they've made 525 horsepower with these motors. It's an amazing vehicle and you're gonna love checking it out. So go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We'll put it up in the air so you can check out the underside. We're gonna pop the hood, look at that Roush power. We're gonna look at the interior. We're gonna look inside the trunk. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your Superformance investment. So come on up and we'll fire it up now. So check this beauty out, man. The paint is beautiful, smooth as can be. I see one touch up up here on the hood. Other than that, the paint is beautiful on the car. It is amazing. Love the gray stripes. Of course, the blue is probably the most popular color on these Cobras. The jet coated uh, side pipes look good. It's got real knockoffs on it, just like the race cars. It is an amazing car, guys. All the chrome looks good. We got the Cobra here in the uh, side vent. We got four point harnesses in here. We got the Cobra floor mats. Great looking carpeting. Everything on the dash looks good. And right there, guys, that's it right there. Superformance, that's the one you want right there. These cars are amazing. Now these babies are all factory built over in South Africa and then they're brought over here and the drivetrains go in them. And um, of course they pick the best on the market with uh, uh, the Roush motor. Now we got a shut off for the battery right there. You see that little red wing? Then the battery's mounted down in there. Beautiful upholstery on the inside there too. Love the gas fill on these. When you look down the side of it, you can see that paint is straight as an arrow. This car will get you some attention. This is probably one of my favorite vehicles to drive. Whenever we go to a car show, I'm in a Cobra. And if we've got a Superformance to take, I'm in the Superformance. So let's go outside and drive this one now. guys are going for a ride in this beautiful Superformance MK3 over 500 horsepower and what a beautiful day it is to drive a Cobra let me just tell you my ears are about to fall off but you know what I'm still smiling from ear to ear because this thing is bad to the bone guys it's got uh, 6,000 miles on it it's the MK3 it was lady owned she bought it brand new, it's a one owner car. What a fun car this is to drive. I'll tell you what, it's like a brand new Cobra. Why spend the money buying a brand new one when you can have one tomorrow? Already done. Call me today at 248 974 9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dream in your driveway this comes with uh, tonneau cover and also uh, it has a, uh, a soft top which is very cool as you can see in our pictures if I can answer any questions feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call this Superformance was built it's not a kit car it was built in South Africa I kind of wish I was there right now because it is cold here. Come out and visit us in Metro Detroit. We're in Plymouth, Michigan. We have about 60,000 square feet of showroom space loaded with beautiful classic cars. This is one of our buildings here on 15 100 Keel Street. 
All right, guys, the underside of our Superformance Cobra here. Um, underneath these things is where you can really tell uh, the quality of the build and uh, the skill of the builder, and this thing uh, checks up pretty well on my list as far as I'm concerned. Uh, fuel tank here, uh, it looks like a pretty nice unit here. It's all TIG welded together, very nice stuff. Moving forward of that, you can see here we have an independent Ford 8.8. Um, now this being the independent model, um, it does have a 373 gear ratio in it. It's a posi or you know the Ford's uh, track lock, if you will. We do have uh, the CV shafts here. All the boots are in good shape. Everything is attached properly. Uh, sway bar for the rear. Willwood disc brakes in the back. Um, looks like all of the soft lines for the disc brakes look like they're all intact. Looks like uh, we do have Heim joints on a lot of the stuff up here. Very performance oriented stuff. All the bushings look like they're in good shape. Um, we do have a set of adjustable coil over uh, shocks in the back. Very performance oriented stuff. That is an upgrade um, from what you would normally find on these just with the stock kit. A little bitty uh, custom made drive shaft here. Moving forward of all of that, I'd like to also point out the Superformance frame here. Uh, this thing is, is this comes in the kit. Of course, it's very, very, very nice, very strong. Something else I'd like to point out is uh, the builder of this car was meticulous enough to even paint mark all of its bolts. Everything here is nylock, uh, nylock nuts on it. So this guy was a, a little bit above a lot of other people when he goes to put a car together. And that's something you want to see when you go to buy a car like this that someone has put together. That is impl implacatory of somebody doing a very meticulous build on these. They even thought a little more to put skid plates on the um, where your exhaust hangers are and stuff like that. Very nice stuff. Um, if you come around over here on this side, something else I'd like to point out for this car. Um, you can tell that a lot of his line work, which is a big pet peeve of mine when it comes to these cars, it's, uh, it's very nicely done. He definitely used a set of bending pliers for it, and everything is rubber insulated. He used the proper, you know, uh, flare, the uh, double flare, 45 flare on these things to, to join everything. All really nice stuff, and it even goes back into here even, where all of his wiring and stuff like that is very nice and neat. He's even got uh, cable ties, or actually P-clamps, holding all of his big old massive battery cables, all that stuff. By the way, if I didn't mention it, electric fuel pump back there. Um, something else I'd like to point out under here is a TKO Tremec 5-speed transmission, 5-speed being an overdrive. Uh, so you can hop this thing right up on the freeway, no problems. And the clutch is actuated by a hydraulic um, slave cylinder here, which is also really good stuff. That's something you'd like to see. Um, of course, frame rail, I mean, you can look at the paint job on that, really nice. Of course, it's brand new, doesn't come to as any surprise to me. We got a big old 8-quart T-pan here, which comes st uh, standard on this 402R motor, but I'm going to get to that in just a second. Uh, pretty nice looking sway bar on it, tubular upper and lower control arms. Um, we do have the uh, a similar looking uh, coil over, uh, adjustable coil over shock on this thing, which is also something that's very nice about this car, kind of an upgrade. You can also see we do have a rack and pinion steering on this, and uh, it is not power, and you don't need that. This car is light enough where it's just not necessary. In the front, looks like we also have Willwood disc brakes in it. Um, of course, all good stuff. All of the boots look like they're in good shape. Um, all of the bushings are in all in good shape, and it's all stuff we check when we go and inspect these cars thoroughly. And uh, if they ever need any tweaks, we have a digital, a digital alignment rack with a full-time guy that runs it, and uh, he does a really good job. Outside of that, let's go take a look at wheels and tires. All right, guys, for rolling stock, we have a set of BF Goodrich Radial TAs, a relatively classic look with the uh, GT40 style rim. Um, this is a true knockoff wheel, I'd like to point out, which to me, it's, it's more kind of correct for the car. That's more of a race-inspired thing. And they, of course, they have been uh, safety wire locked for the street. Uh, 25560 R15 is the size on these, and we got a little bit bigger in the back. Let's go check those out. All right, guys, for the rear, uh, like I said, quite a bit bigger. We have 29550 R15, so considerably wider. Uh, same tire, BF Goodrich Radial TA, relatively classic look, and we do have the, uh, the true knockoffs back here. Of course, safety wired on the other side is as well. Uh, you know, kind of period, or I guess true to the car's uh, uh, inspiration here. Let's go take out the, uh, let's go take a look at the 402R under the hood. Okay, guys, underneath the hood of this thing is a steaming pile of badass. This right here is a Roush uh, 402R uh, small block Ford. This is uh, probably, I think it's a 351 Windsor base. Of course, it's been uh, stroked and poked to 402R. Uh, these valve covers are serial numbered to uh, actually be to each uh, individual engine, so you can actually tell exactly which one this one is as opposed to the rest of them that they made. Um, now, this has a Ford Performance Sportsman block uh, that this thing is you know, built with. It has a forged crank, forged rod, and forged, pist forged pistons. Uh, excuse me. It has a set of um, Roush cylinder heads, but really they're AFR cylinder heads that have been worked by Roush, and they have the Roush etching on the front. However, they have the AFR casting on the side, and it, as we all know, AFR makes really good stuff. Um, looks like we have a uh, dual uh, plane intake here, 
with uh, on top of it is sitting a Holley 770 CFM 4154 barrel. Uh, this four barrel is equipped with a vacuum secondary, straight boosters, an electric choke, of course dual feed being a 4150. Um, it's all there. We do have a K&N filter with a nice Roush uh, air cleaner on it. Over here we can see we have the reservoir for the, um, the master cylinder. That looks like it's a Willwood thing as well, which, uh, you know, true to the rest of the car, how it, how it has uh, Willwood brakes all over it. We do have a MSD ignition here. Um, something else I'd like to point out is we have a uh, chrome alternator down there. Really nice, looks like a March uh, pulley setup on this. Nice billet setup. Big old Hank and balancer underneath. Um, all the AN lines are really nice on this. There's no rubber hose, you know, no rubber hose on anything that really is really, really important. So you can see all of our oil lines, all that stuff is nice AN stuff. Um, see here, we do have a set of electric cooling fans up here, and those are nice and chrome. Um, something you won't be able to see uh, from your shop, but we do have power brakes on this car. So there's a booster and a, uh, looks like a relatively modern master cylinder hiding up over here in the, uh, the corner here, if you guys can see it. Um, if not, you can just refer to the pictures, no big deal. Um, we do have a Ford Correct starter solenoid, looks like AN lines uh, running our carburetor here for our fuel system, all equipped with also on the back of it we have the push lock style stuff. Uh, headers look like they're pretty nicely made, of course all TIG welded together, very, very nice. Uh, looks to me like this car does actually indeed have heat. This has uh, heater hoses that are running up in here, it even has a little shutoff valve on it and everything for the, uh, so that way you know your heater core is not having uh, hot fluid pumped through it and making the car warmer than it needs to be. Uh, you've got the uh, period correct looking uh, antifreeze tank here. All the hoses look like they're in good shape. Overall, it looks to be a pretty darn nice build. And uh, from my angle, I can also see, once again, those beautiful brake lines that, uh, that make me so happy to see when people bend things really nice and pretty. Outside of that, if you'd like to have this monster parked in your driveway, oh, I almost forgot to mention the horsepower that these things make. The 402R, um, when, when Roush puts it out, that thing makes, I think, 500 horsepower and uh, 515 whopping foot-pounds of torque out of a 402 cubic inch motor that's over a horse per cube. So for engine people, that's, that's kind of impressive. Uh, so all good stuff. And of course, it's a, it is a crate motor that Roush built, so you know that it's, it's put together correctly. So, okay, now I can go through the rest of it. Uh, if you'd like to have this beast parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom at the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this thing in your driveway.